Hey guys, so yeah, today we've unboxed already an inverter, 3 kVA Kodak. I'm a bit out of breath because these things are heavy and um, carrying all the stuff around in, in the heat is nice. Um, the inverter is 24 volt, I forgot to say that. This battery is 24 volt. So let's uh, get this out of the box. This is a Hubble battery and let's quickly see how it looks. Let's be, uh, let's take the other knife. That worked nice. This one for the top. So these things, this box is massive, but the battery inside is a third of the box's size, I think. Because, because of the lithium, I think, I think it should be packaged very well. All right. Right, so when you open up the box, first thing you see is these red and black cables. You get 25 mil cable of bay, uh, uh, you get 25 mil cabling with the battery. This will be about a meter or so, almost a meter. So, and they've got the appropriate little connectors on so it can just screw into the battery and onto the inverter. So if you put one battery on an inverter, this can work. To the way to remove this, or the easiest way is to just, just take the foam from the side. So you see it's extremely thick packaging. But the, the battery itself is 25 kilo, or 21 kilograms, so it needs to be very strong. Okay. And then even this is extremely thick. Let's put the battery upright. Just before we take the battery out, let me quickly show you. You also get this width. This cable is to connect another battery. So when you pair up batteries, these, this cable can link to the next battery and the next battery for paralleling. All right, I managed to put the battery upright. So let's quickly see here. If I take this very, very thick foam off. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, we are at the top side of the battery now. It's got these um, places where you can put through your roll bolts or, or, or wall screws or whatever to, to hang it on. It's got some of those at the bottom also. We'll have a look now. Uh, let me get it out of the box quickly. All right, so I finally managed to get it out. The bottom of the battery has got all the connection ports, obviously, but some batteries doesn't. Okay, this one does at the bottom. So there you've got your cable connections for paralleling and putting your inverter on this. So it's got a little cover also, which protects it a bit from short-circuiting. On an off light, a run light, alarm light, and your uh, charge state. The jumpers on this is also for connecting a lot of batteries together. Uh, the Otis 485 port and the CAN port and the Otis 232 ports, all connections for monitoring the battery. Then you've got the battery link port and the on and off switch. If I switch it on now, It'll show me how much the battery comes with, uh, charged with. I think it's about, it's booting up, let's just see. Okay, it's, it's about 50% 50, 50 charged. And uh, yeah, there's, um, there are, there's a bit of breathing holes here, um, but it doesn't look like it's, it's really open. Maybe it's got mesh or something there. There you've got your earth or ground screw. Uh, let me just switch this off again. Okay, slowly this will discharge so just know that once it was on this is now charged and this battery is 24 volt so once you, if you put anything on here now it'll make a big spark or whatever just be mindful of that because um, it does take a while to discharge um, actually I haven't tested it how long it takes on the sides it's got these nice handles so it's easy to pick up easier to pick up and there uh, on the on this it shows 2.75 kilowatts, uh, 25 volt DC, um, the 
equalizing voltage is 29 volt, the float charge is 28 volt, the cutoff charge is 22.5. So maximum discharge is 100 amps. So you can discharge this at 100 amps, I think, um, but I wouldn't recommend it. You want the battery to last. On the other side, there's also another handle, also breathing holes there, and yeah, the, the, the back of the thing has got solid plates um, with the mounting points at the top and the uh, bottom. So stacking these, um, I think is possible if you put them into a, a rack. So you can let them lay them down or, or slide them into racks. Um, can be mounted like that. I, I, I read something like that somewhere. The top side of the battery just doesn't have anything. Let me see if I can pick it up and show you. I already showed this, but uh, yeah, it's just a plain look. So if this is installed on the wall like this, it'll just look nice like that. And the big Hubble logo at the front. The front. Well, that's the battery unboxed. So now you know how it looks and uh, how heavy it is and what to expect of the connectors and whatever. Yeah, good luck. Thanks for watching. And um, maybe I'll show where this is installed with the with the Kodak inverter that I plan to pair with us. This is the light from a successful one. Here's what I say.